I'm glad you're here with us today for this weekly devotional. I had a gentleman bring a thought to me yesterday or day before yesterday. The idea, he says, we're created in God's image. So act like it. That's a, a difficult thought, and, and maybe that's put pretty bluntly, but, but I want us to think about that idea for a minute. I have a young man who gave me a thought that could be an example for this idea. It seems that young man decided that he wanted to be a wrestler. He never wrestled before. So he put himself in a position to, to take that particular course in school. And he began looking at that idea that if he was going to be that way, he must live up to a certain standard. I'm guessing, or at least that's my understanding. And he called upon another man to help him with his strength training. He began appearing several mornings a week, early, early in the morning, well before class time, to spend two, three hours building, building muscle building endurance, building, uh, let's say, uh, some confidence in himself. And he wrestled through the year, and every time he met one boy, this boy defeated him. But he continued on, and he, he came to a point where he was in competition in the higher levels of the sport that year the first year that he had ever wrestled. And as he was visiting with some of the boys that were there, that were participating in the sport, there was the thought of some of them to go and to enter into situations that were not appropriate for uh, someone who was trying to uh, be competitive. And they'd asked the young man, and he had apparently uh, told them that he would be there. And yet when the time came, he had decided that he was there for a greater reason. And he had decided to be a wrestler. He decided that he was going to do these things, and he had spent a great deal of time working toward that point. And so he stayed in that evening. He got his rest. He did as any good athlete would do who was committed to the task. The next day he faced this young man that had always beat him. And when it was finished, he had him pinned to the mat. This competition that he was at was a, a, a competition that led towards a greater competition, one who would recognize him as a top athlete in that state. But he won. You see, we could say, well, I'm a wrestler, and so I'm going to live that way. There's an ideal set up, who I must be, what I must do, how I must accomplish my strength, my willingness, my my commitment to live that way because that's who I have portrayed myself to be. And so when we think about this, we're created in God's image, so act like it. It is, however, that men became, because of sinfulness, were separated from God doesn't mean we were any less in the image of God. It means that sin separated us. We followed the ways of the world. A man followed the ways of the world. And yet we go over to the fifth chapter of Romans, starting in verse 9. Let's start in verse 8. He says, but God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Since therefore we have been justified by his blood, since we have found that forgiveness through the blood of Christ, much more we shall be saved by him from the wrath of God. 
You see, we've been rescued. For if while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God. We were brought back to God. We, we have this spot. By the death of his son, much more now we are reconciled. Shall we be saved by his life? More than that, we are also rejoice through the Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. You see, we've been brought back to God. We've been brought back into his presence. We've been brought back into his presence. It brings us to this point of we're made in the image of God. So act like it. So act like it. There's more to it than that, though. In Romans, the eighth chapter, verse 28, we come to a point, we start in verse 26. He says, likewise, the Spirit helps us. We, we that have become the child of God through the blood of Christ. He said, the Spirit helps us with our weaknesses. For we do not know what to pray as we ought. But the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. Those things that seek God to come to be with us, to give us guidance, to give us the strength. To give us that which we need to pursue, to pursue an image. And he who searches the hearts knows what the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good. Even though we find ourselves facing difficulties and trials, we, we know that those things work for good in the kingdom of God. He says, for those who are called according to his purpose, for those who are children of God, for those whom he foreknew, he predestined to be conformed to the image of his son. He said, if you're going to follow me, he said, let Christ live in you. Christ is to be your guide. Christ is to be that which lives in you, his image, his image. I'm supposed to present the image of Christ to all men in order that he might be first born among the brothers. And those whom he predestined, he also called, and those whom he called, he justified, and those whom he justified, he glorified. You see, God has made us promise. That if we would follow him, that we would have an eternal home in heaven. We were created in the image of God. We were born, once again, as a child of God, we were born unto the image of Christ. To be his. To be, or to represent God in our life. We were created in God's image. So act like it. We have to make decisions each day as to what I'm going to do. We're faced with trials. We're faced with difficulties. We're faced with, with things that happen each day. Am I going to live in Christ's image? Am I going to represent God? Are they going to know God by the way I live? Each one of us has to make a decision each day to live. And that image that God seeks for us to live in. I want to thank you for being here today. I hope that you'll take these words and think on them. That you will look at yourself and say, I need to do more. I need to, to exhibit that life of Christ in me more and more each day. And give yourself over to that idea. To that willingness to represent the image that we were created in. I want to thank you for being here today. And may God bless.